Hey guys, what's up? It's Ultimate Tech Source here. Today I have a video going over the Hapog HD PVR setup. So this is going to be a fairly, probably over five minute video, maybe longer, I don't know how long. Let's go ahead and get started because there's a lot to cover. Okay. So what you get with your HD PVR, you get this remote. Alright, you get your HD PVR, of course. You don't get a PS3 or Xbox. But um, I'm going to show you guys today how to actually record from your PS3 or Xbox 360 to your Mac or PC. So, um, it's actually going to be kind of hard here. I already have everything set up the way I need it. Um, let me see if I can go ahead and lift this up here. Alright, so I just lifted it up on top of my PS3. Um, okay, back here, I don't know if you can see that, but the white cable's on top. Right here, these ones, these ones right here, guys, the white ones. Those are the video in, I believe. No, those are the out, the out, that's the out. And those cables, the component actually comes with the Hapog HD PVR. Then the, under those, you will see there's a set down here. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually a set down underneath those. Um... That is actually for your PS3. You have to actually buy a specific cable for that for your PS3 or Xbox component. And you actually plug those in, and then you plug it to the back of your PS3 or Xbox. And then you have to select that option when you go ahead and play. Then you have your power and USB both right here. So the Hapog HD PVR actually acts as a video pass through. And in order for your TV to be working, since it is coming through your PS3, and then to the Hapog, and then to the TV, it has to be on. So it's on right now. As you can see, if we go ahead and turn it off, the screen will go blank. See, it's off. If we turn it on, wait for it. Wait for it. It's going. There it is. It takes a little while. But there's the, uh, right there. Go ahead and plug the uh, component cables from there back into your PS3. And then the white component cables that actually came with the POG, you go ahead and plug those into the back of your TV. Back here, into your component slot as well. Okay. And you, like I said, the component cables for your PS3 that you have to buy specific go into the in slot, which are under the white ones. You'll see them, it's pretty much the exact same thing. And then you go ahead and plug that into your AV video out in the back of your PS3. Okay, then what you go ahead and then what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're actually gonna run your USB like I have it. I kind of have a messy setup right now. I just got it today. Well not today, but um you'll see what I mean and then never mind. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn on some light. Alright, so here we are on the computer. You wanna just go ahead and configure your setup. This is for Mac. The PC you automatically get some software, but for Mac you wanna go ahead and buy either Elgato ITV which you can see right I'll go ahead and show you right there we got their ITV that is eighty dollars you guys um, I think it's definitely worth it there is another program called HD PVR capture but I believe that is not really worth the thirty dollars because sometimes it will fail I've heard and that it's not very reliable but um, ITV I've never heard bad things about it and it looks great um so and it has more features so uh... yeah that's the software you're gonna use and at the beginning of ITV when you go ahead and uh... do it you should get a setup assistant and this will take you through the steps it'll ask you what device what model and oh shoot don't get copyright no copyright no copyright um... hold on alright sorry about that <laughs> my friend calling me but um what was I saying? Oh yeah, when you set it up, there will be like a setup assistant. And that will pretty much take you through the steps to... God damn it. Alright, that will take you through the steps to um set it up. <laughs> Sorry, my friend keeps calling me. He's annoying. And um, you choose your device and model. And they'll ask you to turn it on and plug it in. And then you might need to update before you do this. But then it should be good to go. And um, pretty much you record in H.264 or something like that. 
and it's automatically able to be played right after it's done so that's really nice and um, it's actually not that hard of a setup you guys it's pretty easy to be honest with you just go ahead and rewind the video pause it when you need to and get it set up and um, I'm not quite sure this might just be like the wallpaper or something but I don't know why it's like cutting off kinda of like the side of my screen here because it didn't do that because look you can see it's extending I think it's like something to do with the wallpaper but I'm actually gonna go ahead and record some gameplay and um, I'll have those videos up later so go ahead and check them out I might have a link on this video or in the description alright you guys Catch you guys in the next